Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm out at the hangar again and it's cold today, very cold. Got my kerosene heater going and everything. And my dog's in here and Hi Bella. What you doing? So yeah, I came out here just to kind of putter around a little bit. I'm not going to do a lot on the aerolite. Mostly I'm going to try to get some things up on this wall. I've been I started to hang some stuff, some of the drawers and and so forth, but I wanted to put up a pegboard and then um they got the pegboard tool holders like for screwdrivers and stuff like that. So I figured I'd put the pegboard up on that wall and just try to get stuff up out of the road as my elderly uh, aviator friend says, get stuff up out of the road. So I'll cut back in when I got some more to talk about, but basically I'm just going to run you guys over the what I've done so far on the Aerolite. Uh, actually, I guess I could do that now. What I've done so far, and sorry for the shaking around, I don't have a, uh, a gimbal. I've got the, the parachute pack mount and rocket tube um, all permanently attached. So what I have to do now is I have to stop at this point based on the fact that I have to have my wings on. I didn't know that. As I was reading the instructions, the wings have to be on and I think it's this thing. It's like the, the parachute cord has to be attached with a D-ring and then it, it gets attached. There's some other cords, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> There's some other cords up over the, over the, uh, the fuselage. If you look on the table in the background, you'll see some red and black things laying on the table. That's the, the cord, the rest of the cord. So I have to put like big quick links in here and then kind of uh, guide it through. Once I have the wings on and they're all strapped and everything, that's, that thing's got to go through here. And this is where it's going to be saving me <laughs> if I ever have to pull the, the uh, activation handle. So, But yeah, what I had to do is I had to mount the the uh, metal mount first which is just a couple of bolts I can't remember what size they are but if you get one the instruction manual tells you all that um, then I had to put the rocket tube on this thing and this thing's held on by four bolts here's two of the four and then that thing has to be um, tightened up pretty tight but not quite tight because this velcro velcro strap there's two of them they go through between the mounting plate and and this plate the uh, rocket tube plate so I had to kind of uh, feed them through there then I have to clamp down on those nuts and bolts because um, well, I just have to <laughs> tighten the nuts and bolts, for lack of a better way of putting it. But, yeah, so I'm at a standstill for now, but I will get, I will get the, what, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get my Grumman up there. So, I got a guy named Ed, a friend, uh, actually he's a, rel he's a relative of the elderly guy that I've been dealing with, the aviator guy. Um... So I'll just start using their names. The older guy is Ron, and his cousin is Ed. Ed's the guy that's kind of going to fabricate a little winch system for me. And I'm going to actually winch up my fuselage in its present state and um, get it up out of the road, like I said before, so I can get this girl going. So once she's up, I'll be able to put the wings and the uh, empennage and tail feathers back on the aerolite and then when I park it it'll be you know at an angle and then I'll park it underneath this thing tail down underneath right underneath the front of the plane so it should fit perfect and the wings will be out here so yeah I'm working on trying to get this thing in here and Slow but sure. It's it's been a it's been a long process, but 
eventually it'll be all worth it. Uh, my mom used to say, rest in peace, Ma. Um, anything worth having is worth waiting for. So same with the, the little bird, you know. I know I've been dragging my feet on getting this thing going, but I want it right, you know. I want to get it up there so that I can have fun with it rather than worrying about it coming down uh, for some unforeseen reason. So, no. Uh, I want to make sure it's all right, make sure it's ground handled or ground checked, and make sure everything's right before I take it up in the air. And then when I take it up in the air, I'm going to have some fun. So I'm going to let this go for now. I'm going to cut you off. And then I will be back when I have some more to report.